So the next thing we're gonna look at from a calibration standpoint is going to be our, our yield calibration. So we scroll down to where it says yield and we push our arrow to the right. So when performing a yield calibration, the things we need to make sure of is, is one, we go into our load management screen and see how many loads are already in there. Uh, the loads that are check marked are the ones that are going to be used in the calibration. So we put the check mark in the box and put our down facing arrow. That's going to update our calibration. We push save. If we want to take a load out, we simply hit the arrows on, or the lines on the right hand side. So to get an actual calibration load into the system, we simply hit the arrow to the right and instead of going to our hanging weight, we hit our arrow to the right again. It's going to give us our load ID. At this point, we want to harvest until we get 3,000 pounds or more on the list. Uh, the next question is how many pounds can you harvest? There is no maximum that you can do in a calibration load, but there is a minimum of 3,000 pounds. And this has to be 3,000 pounds that the unit thinks it's harvested. Uh, so you have to be a little bit aware on some of your first loads. Sometimes those loads will be rather excessive. So once our calibration is completed here, we hit our to the right. Since we're not in the field harvesting, we're going to get failed. Uh, but had it completed, we would have a number. It would then take us back to the calibration management screen. Input that number here. At that point, we would take the scale weight, simply input the scale weight here, push accept, put our check mark in the box, and push our down face and arrow. Now, for a yield calibration, we suggest you do five to seven samples to get a good yield calibration. And you want to do those at varying speeds in the field, but in consistent crop conditions. So we want to do different speeds so that we get different levels of throughput through the machine.